Hi, I'm Rona Kramer, Secretary of the Maryland Department of Aging. I'm going to be updating you regularly on the coronavirus, more accurately called COVID-19. Governor Hogan and I want our older adult population to have information that is specific to us. First, a quick review. Novel coronavirus, or COVID-19, is a respiratory virus, first identified in China in December, which has not caused illness in humans before this outbreak. Since January, COVID-19 has spread worldwide and throughout the United States. Maryland recorded its first confirmed COVID-19 case on March 5th. Since then, cases have been discovered each day. We expect the number of cases will continue to rise in communities across the state. Adults over the age of 60 are at a higher risk for becoming seriously ill from this new coronavirus. And if you have an underlying chronic health condition, such as diabetes, heart disease, lung disease, or liver disease, you are at an even greater risk. It is Therefore, important that older adults take every precaution to keep themselves safe and to limit exposure to the virus as much as possible. There are things that you can do to protect yourself against infection from this virus. COVID-19 is thought to spread like the cold or flu, through coughing and sneezing, which creates respiratory droplets, close personal contact, such as touching or shaking hands, or touching an object or surface with the virus on it. This means that keeping a good social distance from other people will help. Don't have a conversation with anyone face to face. Step back a few paces. Try to remain six feet apart, or better yet for the time being, Avoid going out if at all possible. Don't shake hands or hug people. That's a tough one, I know, I'm a hugger. Avoid gatherings of people and crowds, including religious services, events, family gatherings too, unfortunately, and trips. Air travel should be canceled or postponed for the time being. And do not cruise. Just think of all the weight you won't be gaining. Anyone entering your home must wash their hands as soon as they enter, including you. This is the sign that my sister put in my 94-year-old father's foyer. For the time being, don't shake anyone's hand and don't hug. Be sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds, and yes, I count, and do it often. If I touch my cell phone during a meal, I wash again. Wash your hands after putting away groceries, after touching money, touching the mail, or after coming into contact with anything that comes from outside the home. Keep hand sanitizer with you for when you don't have soap and water handy and use it a lot. In your home, clean with commercial cleaners often. Use disinfectant wipes and cleaners on what we call high touch surfaces, such as the arms and brakes on a wheelchair, handrails, commode seat handrails, reacher grabber handles, faucets, doorknobs, refrigerator handles, telephones, both cell and landline, remote controls for everything, light switches, pill boxes, and every time you wash your hands, please wipe down the grips on your cane, your walker, or your rollator. Yes, every time, it's very important. Please avoid touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Not easy, I know. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. So if you become sick with fever, coughing or shortness of breath, get medical advice. 
Call your doctor, explain your symptoms, and let your doctor advise as to next steps. During the pandemic, it's important that you support your immune system. If you don't, you'll be at greater risk for infection from coronavirus. So don't skip meals and be sure to maintain a healthy diet. Drink lots of water, get plenty of rest, take your medications as prescribed. Even if you can't get outside, exercise in your home, every little bit counts. The stronger you are, the better protected you are against serious illness from coronavirus or any other health issue. Remember, staying away from others physically does not mean being isolated. Check in often with your family and loved ones by phone or online. Be sure they know you're doing okay. Ask for help if you need help. Keep a current medication list and supplements list on the refrigerator or in the foyer somewhere visible. Include name and phone number for an emergency contact person. Maryland is the first state in the country to start a free opt-in telephonic service to check on Maryland's older residents age 65 and over all across the state. Call 1-866 50 check. That's 1 866 50 C H E C K or register online to receive a daily call to check on residents, particularly those home alone. Governor Hogan, his cabinet, expert advisors, and state employees are working tirelessly to minimize the effects of COVID 19 in Maryland. We know that the number of cases will be increasing significantly, but with the early action we've taken and with your vigilance in following these protocols, we'll all be better off. Stay informed and updated with news from the Maryland Department of Health or the CDC. Both have websites with trusted, accurate information about this virus. Until I see you again, don't panic. Stay calm and wash your hands. Use your head, slow the spread. This message brought to you by the Maryland Department of Health. Visit health.maryland.gov coronavirus.